Hey, this is Freefall, and I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial on the TeamSpeak 3 beta. Um, basic functionality for admins. Uh, as you can see, TeamSpeak, the beta has been upgraded to version number 3 for the server. Um, client is at version number 2. Go to the, their website for a download link. Okay, um, now I'm going to show you how to basically add it, uh, modify the server um, name. Uh, Right-click, Edit Virtual Server. Here's the server name. Um, you can add a password. I'm going to keep everything the same. Be advised, there are more options. I'm not going to really go over these options because it's some of it's advanced, some of it um, you can pretty much figure it out yourself. Um, if you got any questions, post a comment. Um, but basically, all you need for your server is this. Um, you can also modify the uh, message. Be advised, you're only allowed 32 clients, one virtual server box. By now, you should be used to that um, with the free license. Now I'm going to add a channel. I'm going to right click on default channel, create channel. I'm going to call this channel whatever, um, topic can be whatever, description A, note if you want to bring it out over here. Yeah, that's nice. Um, there you go. As you can see, I'm going to keep the channel type permanent. Semi-permanent means it will be there until the server is restarted. Um, temporary means the moment I leave the channel it disappears. Uh, I'm not going to make it a default channel. Um, otherwise, it would replace default channel. So, um, need to talk power. I'm gonna keep it at zero and default channel. Um, that means it's placed right after default channel, which is what I want. As you can see, there's alpha, um, basic channel, description, yada yada yada. Um, yeah. Now I'm gonna create another channel. I'm gonna call it AFK. Away from keyboard. Um make it permanent. Now I'm going to increase the need to talk power up to a thousand. I uh, hit it OK. As you can see, um, now if I go in the channel, my indicator light isn't glowing blue anymore, meaning I can't talk. Although being server admin, you can uh, allow yourself to talk by right clicking on yourself and grant talk power, but um, it would defeat the purpose of this channel. Um, this is basically, I know a lot of TeamSpeaks have away from keyboard, so where um, your mic doesn't go activated in case you leave it hot it prevents you from talking. So this is a nice feature. Um, now I'm going to create another channel. Um, actually, I'm going to create sub-channel first to show you how this works. Um, sub-channel name, I'm going to make it whatever. Uh, permanent, place it in elf. Um, I'm going to create another sub-channel again. As you can see, uh, well not yet, um, you can keep doing this all the way down. Okay, let's just say, um, hypothetically, you're having problems right now with spammers in your default channel. Um, some people come in and they just talk in random language, and you don't like that. Well, besides make creating a password, you can also go to Edit Channel, increase the need to talk power to 1, hit Apply. Now, um, only people with server admin or in another server group can talk. Um, how I'm going to show you that functionality right now. Um, I'm going to have you guys right click on your uh, thing. First thing I'm going to show is permission overview. Uh, by right clicking on yourself, uh, permission overview of course. And here's everything you're granted. As of course me being uh, server admin, I'm granted all these rights. You note on the bottom you can reload it, uh, export as text document or PDF document. And you can also filter uh, search query. And this can be changed to show names or descriptions. Uh, now um, I'm gonna have you guys do the same thing. Right-click client permissions, or you can also go up here client permissions. There are hotkeys assigned to this. Um, I'm not gonna show them because for Windows, Mac, and Linux, it might be different um, depending on the keyboard type of keyboard you have. Um, yeah. Uh, for permissions, I'm gonna go to server groups. Um, as you can see, I created one already called register groups um, or registered users. Uh, this kind of like replacing the old register user. Uh, I'm going down all the way down to um, it should be basic. I'm gonna create uh, need to talk power. I've set it to two, so therefore, if they would go on this channel, uh, registered user would be able to do it. How I did that was simply I went add um, into group name. I'm gonna call this one SD, and now I'm gonna go need to talk power. Uh, add permission. I'm gonna lower this value to. Uh, to, so they don't have the same talk power as a server admin. However, they do have um, some talk power, and I'm gonna. Um, you can also give them the ability to grant talk power. I'm gonna give them the ability to talk one. So therefore, um, if you create a talk server with a talk power or not server channel with a talk power of two, th um, 
they would be able to talk, but um, the person they grant the ability to talk to won't be able to. So yeah, that's basically um, that. Um, no advice. Some of these you can't go uh, under and change under information under global. Uh, if you try add perm permission, it doesn't work. I'm clicking, right clicking, and adding this stuff as many times as I want to my heart's content, and it won't work. Um, yeah. Also, uh, some some of these uh, you can only gr add grant power. And then, as you can see, it's way around it. So yeah, uh, you can basically set this up the way you want it. Uh, there also are uh, channel groups. So they can just modify a specific channel, uh, like channel L. Um, so yeah. This is basically, um, I would just play around with this stuff until you get settings you like. Um, it will be different for each person, but I wanted to show out how you would create like a registered user group so that they would be able to talk where people come in spam. How you would grant them um, this power, I'm going to X out of this. Um, you would right click, uh, set channel group, and then it should be our down here, our permission. It's one of these. Um, but you can grant them that ability. I think it's under uh, Token Manager, actually. It's one of these. Server group. Uh, yeah, there we go. Create create them a token and copy it to clipboard. There you go. Okay, that's basically how you'd give them then uh, the server ability to become a registered user. So, um, yeah, that's basically I've had a question, I believe, on that. Um, I hope this answered your question on how to make a registered user. Um, I also told you how to, to modify the password, but, um, yeah. Now, there is one other th quick thing I want to bring out in this tutorial. Um, I'm going to have you go to uh, Tools and Server Query. This is a Telenet thing. I know you guys are saying, oh, no. This replaces PuTTY, um, although it doesn't have the same functionality as PuTTY. Basically, I'm just going to type in the help command. Uh, note, you're, you don't need to log in because you're uh, automatically d done in this so here's all the little commands you can use. They're also in the PDF document I've shown in the previous tutorials. So yeah, um, I know most of you guys don't like Telenet, which is why I'm showing you how to change stuff inside the uh, server itself. But um, in the event you want to need to use Telenet for some functionality. So um, this basically gives you some options, but note most commands um, that require you to modify a virtual server box cannot be done via while you're connected to the server. So you will need to use PuTTY or another um, Telenet source. So yeah, um, this is pretty much it. I'm sorry again if this is a little rushed. I tried to go in more detail, but uh, thanks to YouTube's 10 minute only thing, um, I've had to take out uh, some of the stuff of my video. Otherwise, it's 15 minutes long, and I don't want to split it into two parts because that's confusing. Not to mention, it's a pain in the butt to upload. <laughs> so yeah, this has been a tutorial by Freefall. Um, I'm also going to have new tutorials on uh, the server client up hopefully soon. Or not server client, the actual client itself. Um, another question that I want to quickly get in, if there's, yeah, there's enough time. Um, I want to tell you, if you won't upgrade your server... Um, you just extract the zip. You can extract it over the uh, server. Just uh, when it asks, do you want to replace? Replace all. All of these channels will be saved. So you don't need to change the channels every time you reinstall the server. This has been a tutorial by Freefall. Um, good luck with your uh, TeamSpeak 3 server.